going on guys we have this question right here it's asking two beams are attached to the column such that structural connection transmits the load shown determine the internal force shear force and moment acting in the column at the six section passing horizontal through point a so they are saying the section passing through horizontal through a and now we have to calculate calculate this shear force and all of them around a so let's uh, let's draw this picture separately and do the forces so it's going to be something like this <coughs> so it's that attached to this and we have 23 kilo newton acting downwards downside 23 kilo newton and that's going to be a normal force let's assume this direction is upside and what else we have we have a 6 kilo newton acting this side 6 kilo newton also we have another 6 kilo newton acting in this direction 6 kilo newton also we are going to have the shear force in this direction so we assume this is the direction okay so this is shear force and also we have a 16 kilo newton acting downside so the, that's all we have so let's do summation of ffx ffy and see what we can find so if i do summation of f of x uh, equal to zero i will get uh, six kilo newton so va is going to be positive va uh, cf force and minus plus six kilo newton minus six equal to zero and it comes out to be 6 6 cancel each other therefore it comes out to be v is equal to 0 so this is the shear force now let's see what we can find from using summation of f of y equal to 0 and if i take upper direction positive na is going to be positive minus 16 and 23 uh, down acting downside so it's going to be minus 23 so it comes out to be equal to zero it comes out to be na is equal to 39 kilo newton since this is positive our assumption is right this is acting upside so that's what they what you can say from this also they are asking for shear force normal force and the moment so we have found shear force normal force and we have to calculate the moment so to uh, calculate so I, let's say i i am taking moment uh, counterclockwise <coughs> so if I take this direction let's see what happens so moment around A is equal to 0 and if I take counterclockwise positive and solve for this one MA and we are going to have 16 kilo newton acting acting counterclockwise so it's going to be positive 16 and the distance between 16 and the A is 125 millimeters so it's going to be 0 0.125 so we are we are putting in actually it's 155 here is 30 millimeter and here is 125 so 125 plus 30 so 155 so we have to multiply this one by but this since this is millimeter to convert into meter i multiply this one by 0 0.1155 so point 155 then we have uh, 23 kilo newton making moment and it's acting clockwise so it's going to be negative 23 times the distance is distance from here is 125 plus 40 so 165 so 165 so it's going to be 0.165 and this 6k 6k this 6k doesn't make any moment because it's along the a but this 6k makes the moment but it's it's acting clockwise so it's going to be negative and it's going to be 6 times the height is 185 so it's going to be 0. Point times 0. 0.185 equal to 0 equal to 0 and if i calculate moment 
a it comes out to be 2.425 and the answer is positive therefore we know this acting counterclockwise and it's going to be kilonewton meter kilonewton meter so this is my final answer and that's it that's all we have to find i hope you guys like this video see you next time